We are here to present you with our reform for the GOT train, which is South Africa, Johannesburg's primary high-speed railway. It is a public-private partnership, and the provincial government is the public part, and the private is the concession company, Bombella. Because of the public-private partnership composition of the project, the operational services are all market-oriented. Um, therefore, no loss is incurred uh, due to social obligations. Um, this was a uh, rule from the very start of the project, um, and it was defined by the gear policy, or South Africa's gear policy, where public transport is indeed seen as or considered to be a commercial service. So the GAU train is fully accounted for in the uh, city of Johannesburg's uh, integrated transport plan. The modal competition, again, this being a commuting train, is our private vehicles on its main north-south line between Pretoria and Johannesburg. The feeder systems help secure demand both within the corridor, the north-south corridor, and um, with, within the, the uh, integration, I'm sorry, within the integrated transport plan, these feeder systems should um, help secure further demand along the corridor. South Africa has been, uh, has a short experience in using PPPs for development and, uh, of service and utilities. They started in 1999. The guard train has some reachable goals of ridership and uh, that sometimes jeopardize its own capacity to, uh, to achieve them. To improve these conditions, it's necessary to establish controls beyond monitoring um, numbers. It is necessary to reform the perspective of accountability to put it in, a, in an horizontal perspective in which all the obligations and expectations between Bombella and the provincial government are being, um, the, will become clear. So we're assuming that the Department of Transportation wants to foc focus on improvement of, of the transportation net, so we suggest integration of all the modes of transport. As a supply reform, we recommend a universal fare for all the buses. Also, we encourage to have all the buses stopping at the guard train or having the, having the guard train um, stop in their way. Another supply reform will be to, uh, um, to develop extensive studies for, demand, uh, for the demand for park and ride since the integration will ease up the traveling paths. The first policy mechanism that we recommend is the integration of um, the City of Johannesburg Department of Housing projects across the network and specifically around major nodes. This would be also an effort to set clear spatial development goals to be met through the feeder system and infrastructure investments and to give higher priority to uh, public transport than private transport by ensuring the provision of adequate public transport services and applying travel demand management measures to discourage private transport. Our recommendation is to have public investment secured in the corridor, along the corridor for mixed housing projects. I will turn it over to Josh for the second policy mechanism. <clears throat> Which is congestion pricing. You increase congestion, you increase commute time, um, and you can stream the toll revenues to fund further infrastructure developments. So we recommend that at the provincial level, an advisory committee be formed to conduct research into where the tolls will be placed to most effectively distribute the equity amongst the riders. There's been research done specifically in Stockholm. They look at factors such as diversion routes. Their main findings were that to effectively place tolls, you need to have a very, very w good understanding and working knowledge of the travel patterns of your target population. And you need to be explicitly clear how the toll revenues are gonna be spent. Ultimately, the committee will identify the travel patterns. They will determine how to distribute the equity, and then they will erect the tolls. And we also think that a good public outreach and educational campaign would help inform the, the citizens in the area 
What's perhaps most important is that this PPP needs to be way more transparent than it is because they seem to have all the pieces together, but they're not working for some reason. We think that this mandate will result in a positive infrastructure reform and a widespread distribution of the total equity 